The keepers stashed the talisman of water in a series of hidden caverns located deep below the city. According to their map, I'll find it in a shrine located in the lowest cavern. I don't expect to run into anything too threatening other than a few venomous spiders. However, the map does contain this note. Stand not against us, lest you feel the sting of ignorance's barbs. <laughs> Sounds like keeper talk for, we've rigged the place. An informant of mine, Geary, made a home for himself in these caverns after he lost his job tending the ticket counter of a nearby opera house. He should know these caverns better than anyone, so I'll pay him a visit to see if he has any useful information for me. Guess I'm not getting any information from Geary after all. Rather, are you here to sing too? We'll reenact the memorable scene between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. The city at night. Raoul, the handsome young opera house owner, sings to the lady Valerius. I, Raoul, do accuse you of using treachery to obtain your wealth. Uh, then Lady Valeria sings. I, Lady Valerius, have obtained the opera house, yes. Right from under your nose, you must kiss the ground underneath my toes. Now, I live here under the opera, but I go back, stealing food and such as I need. She can't kick me out, not Raoul. <laughs> then they come down, looking for spiders, but they found the treasure from the shrine instead. No, she has that, too. I've seen her with it. It has powers. You... you could steal it from her, yes. That would make her sad. Let's see. What would she sing? Ah, I know. Lady Valerius, weeping in her chamber, uh, sings. I, Lady Valerius, am so, so sad. Where has the treasure gone that once made me glad? You need a map? Raoul has a map. You need a key? You can get that too from me. Remember, I'll left at the sewer, though the right might look newer, that's the secret of the way in. Now go, go, go! Up, up the rope you go, why do you move so slow? Let us reenact the memorable scene again between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. <laughs> Oh, cruelest lady, you can take 
take the treasure from the old keeper's shrine. But evil, evil lady, why, oh, why did you take everything that was mine? The curtains went down on this guy a long time ago, but he's the best lead I have. with an arrow, but if I miss, I'll give myself away. <laughs> what I see there? This looks like the way in. I can't believe how bad Wayside's got. Guy tried to rob me, broad daylight, just the other day. Why'd you be going down to Wayside anyway? Nothing there but whores and money mongers. Hey, my sister lives down that way. Bet I know which sort she is. So, did you read Crib's latest? That gibberish is a waste of my art. Ironic, since I always considered your art to be a waste. And, to add injury to insult, I'm forced to wear costumes from years past. I can't believe the Opera House is still losing money. It's all these lower class people working in the ticket office and such. They steal whatever they can get their hands on. Valerius should fire all of them. For once, I agree with you, Christine. Scrapping the lower class would certainly clean things up around here. <laughs> but what will you do for food and shelter when they kick you out? <laughs> Taffer. Just as you cleared, if there's any trouble, we double the guard on Lady Valerius' rooms. Not the ticket office, cause... If I were a thief, that's where I'd go. But seeing as you're a guard, and not a thief, you're clear on where to go if there's trouble? If there's trouble, someone needs to guard the cloak check girl. She's all alone with, with no one to talk to. <laughs> when you're a captain, you can choose to guard whatever you like. Until then, let's hear it. Where do you go if there's trouble? Yeah, to guard that watery stone nobody cares about, except Lady Valerius. Good. When you're done moping, I suggest you get on with your patrol. <laughs> Thought I saw something. Did that shadow move? Hmm. Can't hear it anymore. Probably not. from my domain. That's good, but let's try it a little more angry, like this. But wait! Who is this I spy? Who dares fell wood from my domain? But wait! Who is this I spy? Who dares fell... No, no! With gusto! And emphasize the word dares, like this. Who dares fell wood from my domain? I've got a Better idea. Why don't you sing the part of Canandra Forest Princess tomorrow night? And while you're at it, why don't you find yourself another leading lady? Huh. Maybe I will. Fine. Untalented Taffer Troglodyte. Me, 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 me. Huh. Did people really pay money to see this stuff? Well, I'd like to stay for the finale, but I've got a feeling it's time to move on. Someone behind me?
too many to try to get by here. This latest opera from Valerius and Cribs is a testament to the superiority of human intellect. Man overcomes nature. Oh, my absolute favorite theme. I couldn't disagree with you more. This opera is more of a travesty than a testament. The only thing overcome were my poor ears by that horrendous music Cribs has written. <laughs> You're just miffed because Cribs is fond of tragic endings. That's not it at all. Since Valerius took over, we've had to endure this Mr. Cribs and his twisted little operettas with vines and micas as villains and other complete nonsense. How can you stand it? Hmm. Well, I say in with the new. That's what I say. possibly be any more helpful. Uh, Better get to the shadows before they see me. Ah, I'm making too much noise walking on this tile. Every key opens something, somewhere. Now, this is worth the price of admission. <laughs> <laughs> 